I am extremely excited because we are about to have an extra fun time as we examine the excellent topic of expository writing. Expository writing is used to explain. For example, you might write an essay in which you explain the benefits of technology. You could explain the purpose of working in groups or explain why people should carpool to work. Make sure to copy this definition into your What is Expository Writing student document. Expository is writing that is used to explain. Remember that in expository writing, the writer is trying to explain something to you, a person, a place, an idea. The writer is simply letting you in on something he knows or understands. The writing addresses a topic and includes a thesis that states the writer's view. The writing is an explanation of that topic and the writer's views with specific examples to help you see what he is trying to say. Expository writing includes a thesis statement. The thesis statement is used to tell the reader where the essay is going, what it is all about. A thesis that is specific and unique is more interesting to the reader than a thesis that is simple and common. Nobody wants to read something they know everything about already, so come up with a thesis that is unique to you that has something specific that you want to share with the reader. A single topic for writing can be used to write many different types of essays. Let's take the topic, My Dog, Daisy, as an inspiration. If I were writing a story about the time that I told my teacher my dog ate my homework, but it wasn't really true, and then the very next evening my dog actually did eat my homework, that would be narrative writing, not expository. I could write an essay about why dogs are better than cats as pets. In that case it would be a persuasive essay. I would be convincing you of my opinion on a topic and trying to get you to agree with me. But if I were going to remain in the world of expository writing, where I explain things, I could write an essay about pet ownership and the joys that it can bring into someone's life. In that case, I would be explaining my thoughts about owning a pet and how it can make you a lot happier, and I would probably use examples of my own experiences with my dog Daisy to prove my point. Once again, a single topic for writing can be used to write many different types of essays. Let's take the topic summer as another example. If I wanted to write a narrative story, I could talk about the summer when I built a fort in my backyard and thought I would spend the night out there, but then I got scared in the middle of the night and had to come inside because I heard a weird noise. I could write a persuasive essay trying to convince somebody that summer should be longer and that we should only go to school for half of the year instead of three-fourths of the year. Or I could write an expository essay, an essay in which I explain why summer is my favorite season. It's because it's the time of the year when my brother and I act more like friends than brothers. So not only would I be talking about summer being my favorite season, but I would use some specific examples from my own experience to back up my ideas. These X words will help you identify an expository prompt. If the prompt asks you to explain something, it's definitely expository. If it asks you to extend your thoughts on something, or examine why you believe something, or examine the idea of something. Perhaps it suggests you explore a topic or that you express your thoughts about something. Explain, extend, examine, explore, and express are all words you might find that will prompt you to write 
an expository essay. Well, now you're ready to go and write some expository writing of your own. Remember, all you have to do is figure out what you want to explain, come up with a great thesis statement, and start explaining it. Throwing in some good examples will help make your writing livelier and more interesting. Have a great time.